So this is a short introductory video to introduce to you Dakje, which is a Tibetan word editor. Um, the first thing we'll need to do is go to the Asukia GitHub, uh, github.com Asukia Dakje. I'll put this link in the description. If you go down, we have an installer here. It's for Windows. Just go ahead and click that and it will download. Let's tell it to open when it's done. Okay, go ahead and click yes when it prompts you. Uh, and you can tell it to install. Click next and install wherever you want. Then it will download all the dependencies for you. All right, there we go. Click finish. Okay, so another thing I'm going to grab, I'm going to download some uh, extra frequency lists. So I come here to the corpus folder. In there is a section called frequency lists. Let's go ahead and open this one called children. This is a children's corpus. So it's children's speech. Let's save this raw link as text. Let's go ahead and just put it on the desktop. Save. And then let's grab this one and this one. Top 1000 is the top 1000 in the non-high corpus. So also right click on raw, save link as. It'll prompt you to save just as plain text. That's good. Let's save that. And let's save this one too. Same thing. Right click, save link as, save the plain text file. Okay, now we got those text files and we've also downloaded TACJ. Let me drag them over to the screen here so you can see what I'm doing. There's our top 2000, our top 1000, and our children's. Okay, let's go ahead and open up TACJ now. There it is. So you'll see here some basic menu items for opening a document or saving a document. Um, a few other options we'll explore later for word spacing and part of speech tagging. Here you can choose your font and your font size. And over here we have the level lists. Um, I'll go ahead and click these on. Now, TACJ comes loaded with a few um, frequency lists, but let's load those ones that we downloaded earlier. Here we have them on the desktop. Uh, let's put 2000 here. Let's load that there, and then let's load uh, top 1000 next here. And then let's put our children's speech corpus on the top. For now, it's important actually that you do it in this order, that you go from top to bottom. Because if there happens to be a word that uh, is shared among these lists, it's going to be highlighted according to the one you last loaded. So we loaded children's corpus last because we want to make sure that those low-level words uh, get included and highlighted as low-level words. Can you write it down for a second? My crazy cat. Okay. <laughs> now let's put some actual text in here and see how it works.
All right, here I have copied and pasted, uh, copy and pasted some text from a children's story that we helped grade. It's a little big, but let's make the font bigger. Maybe 18, that looks pretty good. All right, and you can see that the highlighting is working uh, here. Most of our words are highlighted blue, which is good. That tells us they are found in the children's speech corpus. Uh, we have a few green and a few uh, orange as well. You can see this first sentence is a edited version, and this is the original below that we actually simplified. If you click this word spacing icon, then you'll see that it inserts the spacing. So we can see how docj has uh, word spaced our Tibetan text. Uh, we can see nga drapa chung chung chi yin. So it's done it correctly. Actually, it's uh, much improved over how it, how it used to word space, which was pretty poor. You can see it's got a couple mistakes here. Uh, any, it doesn't recognize as a, as a word, probably because it's a speech word. Shok alone, it does not recognize as a word as well. Uh, shokpa, right? And, and the other thing you can look at, let's turn word spacing off. The other thing you can look at is here, part of speech tags. So, nga is a pronoun. Drapa is a noun. Chung chung is other, actually. That should be an adjective, right? So, it's still not uh, perfect yet, but you can see that that is how you can work on uh, part of speech tagging with this software. Um, the other thing you can do, you can write directly in Takche, of course, or you can uh, go ahead and open a text by click, clicking open, Yikcha, and then Kache course open we can also edit in here so if you find a word that is not the right level uh, then you can go ahead and edit it out and work directly in Takche right and then save your text or of course highlight Control C, Control V, copy and paste into another uh, word editing like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, or whatever you like. Then you can see we also have some basic statistics here. So how many vocabulary, uh, 206, um, how many total words, right? And then how many kinds of words, so 82 kinds of words. What that means is uh, there's repetition, like na is a word, and it comes a few different times. So it doesn't, here it's getting counted all the instances. Here it's only counting one of those as an instance. Uh, how many sentences? For some reason, zero. That's obviously a mistake. We'll have to uh, report that as an error to get fixed. Yeah, and how long is your longest sentence? Okay, this is Dakche uh, and very short introduction. If you download it and use it and you find mistakes, then you can always give us a bug report uh, on the GitHub, right? So let me show you quickly where to do that. If you go back to where we installed Dakche from on GitHub, uh, you can go to issues and click a new issue. So here we found uh, sentence totals. Uh, don't populate, get counted. Right? So I would just write up a quick um, issue report. Go ahead and submit that, and hopefully that will get fixed soon. All right now we are on release uh, four, I think.
Okay, so that has been a short uh, introductory video on how to use Takche. Uh, in another video, I'll kind of go over why we need to use Takche um, and uh, the importance of grading literature for children and uh, second language learners. Um, go ahead, uh, like and subscribe, etc. Thanks.